You choose hairstyles for your kids that are quick and easy to do can be sometimes really, really challenging. That's why I bring to you this quick hairstyle idea. So you can try it and let me know what you think in the comment section. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. On today's video, I'll be doing a Bantu Nord hairstyle on my daughter. If this sounds like something you're interested in, then continue watching. So first of all, I'm going to detangle her hair. Use some shine and jam to help me with the lines. Then I'll apply the shine and jam gel in the part. I'm going to start with the middle part first. Then on one side of the head, I'm going to section it in kind of a, a triangular form. Then after doing that, I'm just going to wrap it to keep it out of my way. Now I'm going to section the entire hair before I start braiding it. Just after sectioning, I'll just wrap it and keep it away so it doesn't get in your way when you're, you're doing the other sections. Then for the lines, I'm using the shine and jam gel to make sure that the lines are perfectly neat because you don't want your parts to be looking untidy. This hairstyle actually took me like 40 minutes to do and it was because I was uh, recording. But if it's something that you want to do that you're not recording, it can take you less than 20 minutes to do, 30 minutes to do. Now at the back, I'm just going to make uh, a little design where I'm going to be, I'm going to section the back because I'm going to be doing some braids on them. Now, after sectioning one side of the head, I'm going to section the other side. Then at the back, I'm just going to do the braid, just braiding that down. A normal uh, cornrow, just cornrowing that down, adding some hair extension just to give me some length. This part is just my preference. You can do the entire head, uh, just the bantu knot on the entire head, but this was just to spice up the look a little bit. Now, I'll just continue braiding until I get the the braids at the back all done then i'll start with the bantu knot now for the bantu knot i'll be using some extensions because i want it to to be a little bit bigger and then i also want it to last longer because since her hair is very thin if i just do it with her hair like that it's not going to last for even two days now to do this you can use a crochet method like you use a rubber band to tie her hair down then crochet in the extension but for this tie i just separate the hair into two place the braiding hair in the middle then i went ahead and used the rubber band to secure that when you do that it gives less tension when you do that it put less tension on the head since i'm doing a three strand braid i'm going to take one another piece of the extension and wrap it around then just go ahead and braid that down after braiding that down, I'll go ahead and just wrap it round to create the bantu knot. This this part is really easy. You just want to wrap depending on your preference. So I'm going to continue doing the same process. That is sectioning the the part that I'm going to braid down. Place the extension in the middle. Use the rubber band to, to secure it. After using the rubber band to secure it, I'll go ahead and take another piece of the hair, wrap it around, and just braid that down. To further spice it up, I went ahead and do smaller braid in between each section of the band to knot that I'll be making. Now, this is what I'll be doing on the entire hair. Go ahead, section it braid it down wrap it and and that is just it about this tutorial it's nothing difficult about it you just want to do the same process on the entire head the smaller sections of braids i'm doing the smaller sections of cornrow i'm doing in between those are just optional you can go ahead and skip that part but if you want the exact style this is just what i did and i try to make sure that all the head of the to knot are coming from the crown of her head so you have that uh, kind of basket design in the middle this is all just my preference you can section the hair in any uh design that you want depending on your preference but the main purpose of this tutorial is just to show you that you can actually get a cute hairstyle without uh wasting too much time this actually lasted for two weeks and it was it came out and it was still fine 
now after i finished doing the braids i went ahead and used thread and needle to secure the bantu knot so it doesn't unravel since it's a kid they don't really know how to play and avoid uh, to manage their hair so you want to make sure that you're using uh thread and needle to hold that so it doesn't unravel if not it's going to unravel in the first day at school now i'll just continue the process until the entire head is is uh, braided down when i finish braiding that down i'll go ahead and put some beads on the braid on the sections where i did the smaller cornrows then i'll just go ahead and do the baby hair and that will be practically it about this tutorial if you like this video please give me a huge thumbs up if you like quick tutorials like this for your little ones let me know in the comment section so i'll be doing more of those also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upload and i'll see you in the next video bye bye